I'm pretty sure my belly doesn't have a dog in it, so why does it keep on growling at me? Stomach growling or rumbling is pretty common, and it can be quite the embarrassing thing at times, but it all takes place in our digestive system, so let's take a look there. Our digestive system is pretty much this big tube where, you guessed it, things get digested. It can span from 20 feet to 40 feet, so to get things from the mouth to the anus takes quite a bit of effort. To accomplish this mass transit of food and digestive juices, the body goes through a process called peristalsis. Peristalsis is a series of muscle contractions that push chyme down the digestive tract. These movements can cause growls in your stomach, but gas can also be a factor in these funny noises. When your body breaks down food, gas is left behind as a byproduct. This gas can then get squeezed in the stomach, making noises as well. So the question from here is, if the stomach growls when it's moving food, why does it growl when it's completely empty and I'm lacking food? Well, after about two hours without any food, the body releases hormones that stimulate local nerves and then sends signals to the brain, and the brain then starts a peristalsis. This serves for two reasons. It, one, snatches up any food that may have been left behind the first go around, and two, vibrations in an empty stomach actually make you hungry, so next time you're in a meeting and your stomach interrupts it with a nice bellowing roar, don't worry, your body's just trying to say it's hungry, or it's simply just cleaning itself out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, stick around, those annotations will be up pretty soon. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll know that whenever I go from slide to slide in my videos, I just use a standard fade transition. I use it because it's pretty smooth, and it's not too distracting from the content, and that's why I use it. But I'm curious if you guys want to see more dynamic transitions, kind of like this one right here, which is called Vortex. And then there's even ones like Shred and Honeycomb, and there's more dynamic ones. So my question to you guys is, do you want to see more dynamic um, transitions, or do you want to just stick with what I have currently? I like the fade because it's not as distracting, but then again, those ones that I just showed you look pretty cool. So what do you guys want to do? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to read them. Once again, thanks for watching. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.